Oh, how'd I get here? What? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? What? Hey! Hey! What are you doing here, man? They told me specifically I was going to work coming down. I didn't realize you were going to be here. I didn't even know. He said, hey, we were in there. He's like, oh shit, there's Danny and Jimmy. And he's like, I was trying to get them down this way to where I can run over and be like, guys, what the heck are you doing here? Yeah. Like, I know. I know. And then we, we heard uh, Danny. I looked over and I saw you. I was like, oh crap, I started running. Yeah. My brother's here. Yeah. But yeah, no, that's here. What the fuck? So, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How's it going? What? Nice to meet you, Oh my god. I'm trying to stop running over here. You over there? They were coming this way. I know. That's why I was and, running. I was trying to run over here. Like, at, uh, you know, like he pulled I, me aside. He's like, "Yeah, you're in the corner." I'm like, "I told you." What? No, I didn't know either. I know. We knew. We already went to that now. But we were trying the whole. All right, starting on our vlog. Surprise! We're in Daytona. Yep. So I'm sure Danny will attach or have attached the meetup. We. uh we kind of got busted at the flea market. I uh, I wish I could have had me sprinting like a madman when I looked over and I was only a few feet away from Darian and I was like, oh crap, he's not supposed to see me yet. And so, yeah, we were supposed to meet up tonight after the Xfinity race, but uh, we kind of got busted um, at the flea market. So we met up with them and uh, heading to the beach. We got a new traveler with us. Hey. That's my brother, Trevor. Hope he doesn't mind being in our vlog. So, uh, too late now, he's already featured. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, so we're just gonna kinda hang out today, hopefully watch the race tomorrow. Yep. And go from there. Yep. All right, Trevor, what do you think? What about the race track? It doesn't seem to have guessed. <laughs> <laughs> like the view? Yes, uh, we're driving on the beach of Daytona, which a lot of people know a long, long time ago, they actually used to hold races on the beach in Daytona. But Trevor and I were talking how it's kind of strange that how packed the sand is, because we're all used to the loose sand and whatnot. Yeah. This is, uh, this is really nice. It's, it's interesting. Paid $20 to kind of drive slash park on the beach. Yeah, five miles of open pathway you can drive on the beach here.
stage number one of the new season. To the right, a photo finish for the stage.
right, so Austin Sendrick, the defending Xfinity Series champion, gets the win at Daytona. And Mr. Trevor, this is your first NASCAR race you've attended. How did you like it? I liked it pretty well. I was pulling for Harrison Burton, but uh, Austin Sendrick winnings, okay, I guess. <laughs> it was a pretty interesting race, a lot of crashes, but all in all, pretty good. Was it loud? Was it louder than you expected? No, uh, not with the headphones. Um, we had some pretty good headphones, so it made it bearable. Yeah. But I can imagine going the whole race without them. Well, I'm kind of like you, Trevor. I'm kind of just like, eh, good for Austin Centric. I'm not the craziest Austin Centric fan, so. And it was, I felt like a very anticlimactic, uh, that's a hard word to say. Yeah. Finish, like, it, it was built up to be so exciting, like, photo finish, and it was just kind of like, Nah, that, yeah, well, well, there was the finish. We didn't attend the ARCA race, but it was kind of like that, too, for that one. So, But, hey, weather held out at least, so we're hoping that it does the same thing for us yes, tomorrow please. for the 500. Yep. It's Daytona 500 race day. Race day! Chase Elliott's going to win. And I'm now finally rock, rocking the Ally stuff. It's officially a new year, new season, new number, new sponsor, new everything for my guy. We're jumping him out of the car, clearly. Kyle Busch. What is wrong with this guy? Oh, and he's even got the hat. Yeah. Let's see the hat. Let's see the hat. Yeah, yeah. Dumping him out of the car. But hey, we're happy that he's here for his first uh, cup race. So yeah, 500 day. Hopefully the rain holds off. It, it looks pretty promising. Yep. Yeah, gonna try to get us a bite to eat for breakfast. We've heard good things about this Kiki's place. They're pretty popular around Florida. We don't have them where we're from, so we're gonna try them out. Yeah. So stay tuned. Breakfast at Kiki's. I got eggs quarantine. I got uh, apple cinnamon stuffed toast. And bacon and then fruit. And I got the Florida waffle and four strips of bacon. Wow. Very it's gonna good. be a great breakfast. We're horrible at vlogging, so we picked up another person. Yeah. How many people have you picked up? Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dang, you guys are running like the Daytona taxi service. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we just left the flea market. Crystal spent all our money. I haven't been here but what, two hours? Barely. <laughs> two hours and down like three hundred dollars. <laughs> Just kidding. If her if her uh, dad is watching now, she didn't spend all of it. <laughs> I meant thirty. Thirty. Yeah, that's the right answer. in the wrong spot. <laughs> so we're waiting in traffic. We're gonna go inside. I think turn four, and go in the track to park. Right. Infield yep. parking. Yeah, we're trying to figure out how to get there. Road course. But, yeah, they gave me two sets of tickets. It's nearly one. Race is supposed to start at 2.30, so. So far, the weather looks really nice, but then again, it looked nice this time last year, so we'll sound. see. Under the track. Mm -hmm. Driving under turn one right here, I think. Turns one? Well, somewhere, yeah, right going into turn one. That's what we're, that's where we're at. I see it on the GPS. I want to be, like, send the video to me. <laughs> Got a couple raindrops on the windshield. driving technically on a NASCAR track right now. We're on the road course. You're going the wrong way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it really is. We really is? No, I said it really is. Oh, that's so cool. Just like look to your right, or your left, sorry. Wow. Yeah, it's not going to be wet. And we have made it to Daytona International Speedway. Surprise, surprise, we are here at the Daytona 500 after all. Originally, we had no plans to be in here. Things happened, and we are back for the second year in a row. This time under COVID circumstances, yeah. being safe, of course. Yeah, unfortunately. Hopefully, it'll be over by next year, but we'll see what happens. Hope the vaccines are going out now, and I'd like to get mine as soon as possible. So, we'll see what happens on that part, but we're here. Uh, we're ready for the Daytona 500, and ready to get this one going. So, I gotta say, it feels weird to actually be in the infield in some capacity here, because uh, we haven't been able to even get, you know, an opportunity like this since COVID happened. Uh, so, I, I can't get any kind of hot pass access, and I don't know when NASCAR will ever let us do that again because I don't know if they're going to trust anyone else besides team personnel for that but I do think it's awesome that Daytona had this kind of opportunity and is trusting fans 
to come into their fan zone for the UNOH fan deck and they have these uh, socially distanced infield tables. Maybe one day things will get back to being positive again. But uh, right now we'll take these little wins as we can. But uh, I'm happy to be here. Rant time. Daytona security. You need to learn how to actually tell your people how to do their job correctly. Am I harming anybody with a stupid tripod that I use to stabilize my camera because I'm a vlogger? No, I'm not. I'm having to go back to my car while everyone else is in there to put this stupid thing up. Can't stand it. Like seriously, this is not a piece of professional camera equipment. Like, I'm not harming anybody for this. They say no tripods allowed. I do everything right. I wear my mask. I'm being respectful to everybody and their distance. And I'm told I can't go in because of a tripod. A little tiny tripod that's used just to simply stabilize my camera while I vlog. Daytona, train your security to know the difference between this and a giant freaking tripod that the news would use. And also, what are you going to do if the actual media are doing something? Are you going to tell them to get out? Ridiculous. In 2005, piloting the number 18 M&M's Toyota from Las Vegas, Nevada, two-time NASCAR Cup Series champion, Kyle Busch. Daytona 500 appearance. Rolling off the grid in the ninth position from Middletown, Connecticut. Please welcome 2015 Daytona 500 champion, Joey Logano. It's so quiet. <laughs> this is how it was in Phoenix. I'm like, everybody's done. They're not here. fourth appearance in the Great American Race from Mobile, Alabama. Welcome, Bubba Wallace. Woo! sponsor. I pray that you would bless all the grieving families and give us a reason to smile today. More than that, I ask that you would give us strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. This is my prayer in your sovereign name. Amen. The bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the brave and the say the most famous words in motorsports. Please welcome Trackhouse team co-owner and Grammy Award winning global superstar, Pitbull. Drivers, start your engines, let's go.
Austin Dillon left inside row number one. Weaving at the block by the moment, this accomplish in quest of his first Daytona 500 championship. To the line fans, here comes the strong of the season. That's very appropriate. He got the job from the Since we don't have real racing, we're racing on the road course. Yeah. Yeah, it seems fine to me. Let's get the boys out here. Yeah, what are you talking about? Nothing's wrong. Just a put mere puddle in the, the pavement. Rain has stopped, and it's a little after 6.30. Oh, that's immediate parking. Oh, right well, that is not us. I heard drivers at our cars at 8.45, racing to resume at 9, and Crystal... Whoa! We're at Daytona! <laughs> that is the coolest mask I've ever seen. It talks. It does! Alright, so they have called drivers back to their cars, and we are getting ready to hopefully see the conclusion of this race. Yay! So many people have left now that we pretty much have full access to the UNOH fan deck. We can actually get up here now. Yeah, earlier, I don't know if you said this in the vlog, but you had to have had a table that was up here, and our side table was actually down there by the Budweiser area. So we, the best view we had was earlier you saw, was like through a fence, and we cut like actually two fences, and then we through the pit crew and we saw that. So It wasn't okay. that great. Now we can at least kind of... You know, kind of see the track a little bit. Yeah, see a couple of the turns. This is best case scenario. Let's just hope no one that had this assigned area comes up here. Yeah. But uh, we're ready to get this race in. Yes. this one in tonight. They cannot continue. They are done.
stage one. Denny Hamlin picks up the win on stage one. Uh, Ryan Priest. Ryan Priest also having a good showing. Austin Dillon gets third as well. Uh, Larson fourth. Cedric fifth. Bell sixth. Bubba Wallace also inside the top ten in seventh. Logano eighth. Uh, Chastain ninth and Cole Custer round out the top ten in stage one. Still a long ways to go. Uh, unfortunately, looks like we're gonna be in Florida for a little bit. Our flight got delayed.
McDowell. Burn it down, McDowell! Your first one! All right, none of our guys won, but we were nope. all kind of happy to see McDowell get his first win. Mm -hmm, that was cool. Um, sorry to our Logano fan there. He, uh, I'm wearing the right colors. Yeah, the right colors at the least. Wrong number. <laughs> but uh, glad everyone's okay after that crazy wreck. Uh, much better feeling walking away from this Daytona 500 compared to a year ago. Wouldn't you say that, Claudia? Yeah, it was kind of a somber feeling because of uh, Ryan Newman, but then still kind of angry because like, during the Hamlin won. <laughs> But, uh, no. Hey, we didn't see that, so it's a, it's a good night. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't even think he had like a decent finish. Did he? Was he involved in that wreck? No, no, he didn't have a good finish though. I can tell you that. Yeah. Oh wait, actually he did. I can see the pile on from here, fifth. Oh, oh well. Because really? probably all the people wrecked in front of him, and so he just got through the mess. Well, he's uh, he's Chase still on. Is that Chase in second? Yeah. Yeah, Chase got Austin second in the 500. What? Oh wow. Listen, Kevin so Harvick. Listen, okay. listen to this with uh, Chase getting second basically make him the favorite for next week on the road course. Ah, yep. Road course king. Yep, because he'll have a good starting position because of that. But uh, we're happy. Guy got his first win. See if you can make that and it is late. It is 12.42 oh, a.m. Yeah. And uh, a originally we were supposed to have an early flight. That is not happening. So now we got to figure out what are we going to do. We're here in Florida for a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. Surprise, we, uh, nearly a week since Michael McDowell won a Daytona 500, we are still here in Florida. We're back! And uh, we're heading back to Daytona Speedway for our very first road course race. In yep. the rain! Our first night, our first uh, rain race at that. So, uh, we're getting ready to watch the truck series at Daytona on the road course. This should be interesting. It's kind of cold. I had to go into the Bass Pro Shop to buy some pants. Because someone doesn't listen to their wine. Okay. Watch, watch out for the pedal. Well, thank you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's go watch the truck. Kevin Harvick standing out twice. That's something else you've been set up for. Just mistakes being made. So they've got William Byron's green exalta car, he's gonna drive that at Pocono. It's not that good looking. 
Is it? I don't think so. Well, that's the escalators. Let's go watch the road course. Oh, see.
looks like a Oh, it's too late. You can't go in.
ability to get the right tires. And by the way, we've got 11 laps to go in this race, so we still got a pretty short order should that come to be, but definitely bundle up and stay more worth thinking of yet out there in the Midwest and in the Southern States. Can't wait to get the Circuit of the Americas with the same choice so a little bit later on in the year. We have a question from the North Coast Racing. Yeah. Yeah.
this youngster. If you were with us or if you saw it last week Friday night, I don't know that I've seen a penalty or winner in quite some time. All right, everyone, what do we think of our truck race slash first road course race? Uh, I thought it was okay. They got kind of spaced out. Um, it was neat to be able to see the whole track. So that was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it was a cool first truck race for me. Uh, I was pulling for NEMA check, but top three finish still. So that was pretty cool. Especially after running out of gas at one point. So that's yeah. not bad. But uh, Ben Rhodes, we didn't see him winning here last week, but he he wins this weekend, so. Yeah, two weeks in a row. Yeah, but uh, Austin Sendrick might carry that over for tomorrow, but we won't be here. Hopefully we're finally flying out tomorrow. So sayonara from our trip. Yeah, see ya until next time. Bye guys. <laughs>